Hey guys, this video is a coding tutorial for Code Forces Problem Mafia. We have already discussed this question and how to solve the problem by binary searching for the answer or the key in a previous video, whose slip I am going to play now. If you already know the problem and how we arrive at the binary search technique, you can skip over directly to the coding part of the video. Let's see this problem. One day, n friends gather together to play the game of Mafia. During each round of the game, some player must be the supervisor and other n-1 people take part in the game. So let's say three people are playing the game A, B and C. So somebody has to take a position of supervisor in each round and they can play multiple rounds. For each person, we know in how many rounds he wants to be a player and not the supervisor. The ith person wants to play A of I rounds. So A one person wants to play three rounds, B wants to play at least two rounds and C wants to play two rounds too. What is the minimum number of rounds of Mafia game they need to play to let each person play at least as many rounds as they want? So suppose in the round one, they they play B and C and A becomes the supervisor, right? And round two, they play A and C and B becomes supervisor, right? And round three, they play C and B and A becomes supervisor again. So in this way, uh, B has played two games, C has played three games, and A has played only one game here. Um, so this doesn't satisfy. In three rounds, we cannot satisfy um, this constraint. So how many rounds such that we need? Let's think about the solution for a minute. And you can pause the video, and I'll get to how to approach this problem. Right. So let's figure out the upper and lower bound of the number of rounds we can play. So of course, lower bound is we can play zero rounds. And upper bound is what is the max number of rounds we might play. So let's say A, B, C, D each wants to play at least two, 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 two rounds. I think we can safely assume that playing eight rounds will definitely satisfy the constraints because we can make play uh, each player exclusively in that round and even if rest becomes the supervisor, that's fine So our answer lies between somewhere between 0 to 8, right? If 8 satisfied, we also know that 9 Playing 9 rounds will satisfy the constraint and playing 10 rounds will also satisfy all the players. So suppose this is the number of rounds right where 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 up to Terror. and say 8 and 9 are here then 0 definitely 0 doesn't satisfy right uh, the constraint and 1 not satisfy because they have to play 2 rounds at least 2 doesn't satisfy because somebody has to be supervisor and none of them um, somebody has to supervisor and somebody has to miss out the game and see it satisfies 9 satisfies and so on so you see a pattern here right so somewhere along this line you might find a number here which will satisfy and somewhere along this path you'll find which is not satisfied so you want to find that point which gives you the right answer right this x right so whenever you see this sort of a pattern what you can do is you can safely use a binary search technique on the answer itself right so here we are finding number of rounds so just binary search on the rounds so uh, for example try round 10 does it work yes it works then try round 0 does it work no then try round 5 does it work yes okay so answer lies somewhere between 0 and 5 try round 2 does it work no so answer lies between 0 and 5 now try round 4 does it work yes it works then try round 3 does it work it doesn't work so let's get started with the coding now first we'll define a main function called minimum mafia rounds which will take one input parameter which is the rounds array here rounds array is a list of references for each player uh, which tells us how many rounds at least that player wants to play right so now let us define low equals to zero and zero rounds and high equals to sum of the, all the preferences of each of the player. And this serves as the bounds of our binary search. 
We also define a variable for our answer, which will always try to hold the minimum possible valid number of rounds playable while satisfying all the players according to their preferences. So here we define answer and we know that sum of rounds uh, will always satisfy all of the players. Now we'll write the code for the binary search. While low is less than high, uh, we define med equals to low plus high by two. And here in Python, uh, integer division is represented as a double division sign and not a single division sign. So we have defined med and now we condition this on if can satisfy everybody and we send this mid and rounds array to this function so this function tells us if playing mid number of rounds can we satisfy every player or not if we can satisfy then our answer becomes mid right and we also need to search on the lower end of the number line so my high becomes now mid minus one right if it doesn't satisfy then it means the answer lies on the higher end of the number line which means our low becomes mid plus one and now we just need to return the answer which we got right so this is how we binary search for the answer or the key and uh, we now need to implement this can satisfy everybody function which will tell us if we play mid number of rounds, can we satisfy this uh, criteria or not? So let us define this function can satisfy everybody. And we rename med as k. That means playing exact k rounds, can we satisfy everybody? How do we go about implementing this function? So we play exactly k rounds. So if we play exact k rounds, then person the ith person, person i, can supervise in k minus rounds of i games, right? This is this is understandable, right? So person i wants to play rounds of i games, so he can supervise the rest of k minus rounds of i games, right? So how many supervisors in total we can have? So total supervisors to supervisor positions we can have as sum of k minus rounds of i over all i right so this many supervisor can have we, we can have right if we play k rounds and uh if we can satisfy everybody if this sum of this total supervisors total supervisor count is greater than equals to k then we can supervise k games or we can assign supervisors to k games and then this returns true this means can satisfy everybody how do we implement this now? So okay, let's let's define this. Um, we have a bucket variable um, s equals to zero uh, for person in rounds. Uh, we want to count how many supervisors. Let's just call supervisors supervisors plus equals to k minus person if supervisors is greater than equals to k then return true else return false right okay so so let's let's try to optimize this first of all uh, if any time supervisors is greater than or equal to k, then we should be able to return true. So one optimization is this. Now, another optimization is uh, Python gives us a library function called map, uh, which is a very handy function if you want to do uh, some operation on each item of a iterable such as a list. So map takes a function foo which it applies on each of the iterables, such as list. Uh, this functionality is pretty handy, and uh, we can actually make use of this functionality uh, to write with pretty concise code. So here in this loop is what we are doing is uh, basically 
for each person, we are uh, mapping the preferences to k minus that person's preference, and then summing them up, summing them up. So with the map, we'll actually define the function, an inline function, um, lambda, which takes an element of the array and applies k minus on the on it, and our i triple is the rounds. So this will actually uh, map the rounds array and return us values something like this: k minus rounds of zero, k minus rounds of one, comma and so so on and so forth. Right. So now we have a for loop imitation with a map, and now we just need to sum on this, right? And this gives us the actual supervisor positions available for k rounds, right? So we don't need to do anything. Now we can concise if statement uh, as directly a return instead of branching on it. So I think our code looks good now. And what we need to do is probably write some tests to make sure our code works logically well as well. Uh, so, to, so to do that, what we can do is use the assert functionality in Python. And how this works is you call this function uh, minimum mafia rounds and give it an input and just check whether the output is correct or not. And when we run this, it should print a search and error here if this is not correct. So this should be a fail, failing test case and it should print an assertion error. Okay, so the answer to this input should be actually four games, right? Uh, one wants to play three, two, two, and the answer should be four, and it should not print any error. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, keep liking the videos, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this, and comment on our video if you uh, have some feedback about uh, this video or the other ones, if you want us to do any particular question, any particular pattern of uh, programming problems that you have faced in an interview. Uh, do tell us, do share uh, what will be useful to you, and uh, we'll see you. Thanks.